in this video we are going to discuss about uh, transistor sizing so consider the given circuit the circuit is drawn like this okay mm. this is your given circuit now where um, if uh, b and uh, c is in series if it is in parallel you have to draw it in series okay so this two is in series so you have to draw it in parallel So the question is what is the logic function implemented by the CMOS transistor input. So I can tell this is uh, D into C, DC and this is A plus B. If it is in connected in parallel means you have to uh, draw it as A plus B, the whole part. So here A, B is in parallel, so I have draw it in series and uh, C and D is in series, uh, so I have drawn it in uh, parallel and uh, these three transistors are in um, series, so I have drawn it in parallel for PMOS. Okay. If it is in parallel, you have to add it, add those transistors, okay, A plus B, uh, which is in um, and series with uh, DC so DC A plus B the whole bar so this is the logic okay so let's go for the second one uh, size the N mass and P mass devices so that the output resistance is same as that of the inverter with an N mass uh, W by L of N is equal to 4 and uh, W by L of P is equal to 8 okay and so they have given uh, uh, the W by L P of uh, P MOS tends to 8, okay. So this is also 8, this is also 8. Um, since I have uh, only one transistor between VDD and uh, this is a P MOS and uh, they have given the W by L value of uh, P MOS is uh, 8. So uh, if there is only one transistor between the supply and uh, output, you have, to, uh, you have to write it as 8 okay so here uh, the equivalent uh, resistance of this uh, uh, pmos uh, transistor is uh, 2 2 r by k this is 2 r by k where k is nothing but w by l of p okay where k is nothing but w by l of p so this is nothing but uh, 2 r by 8 that is nothing but uh, r by 4 okay that should be equal to this value okay 2 r by k for this one 2 r by k plus since uh, this two transistor is in series therefore the two resistance are in the, the two resistance also in series okay so if the if the two resistance are in series means you have to add the two values right so this is 2 r by k for a this is 2 r by k for b it is 2 r by k that is equal to r by 4 okay uh, so r by 4 is equal to now if i add this one i will get um, 4 r by k right 4 r by k so what is the value of k k is now is 16 okay so you have to substitute you have to substitute 16 here okay 16 16 so this is how you have to size for the p mass now let's come for the N mass. Okay, so they have uh, there are two paths between the uh, uh, from the output to the ground, right? So you can see this is a one way, this is one path, and this is another another path, right? From output to the ground. So you have three transistor, right? You have, have you have three transistor, and the equivalent resistance for the uh, N mass is R by K. Since I have three transistor, 
R by K plus R by K plus R by K, right? Three transistors are in series, and the resistance also in series. So R by K plus R by K plus R by K. There is one for D, one for C, and one for A. That should be equal to R by four, right? So what is the value of now? Now what is the value of uh, K? So the value of K now is twelve. So I have to substitute twelve here. Okay. So this is twelve, and this is twelve, and this is also twelve. Similarly for this path, R by K plus R by K plus R by K. So this is also twelve. So this is how you have to size the transistor. Thank you.